Hello, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, I am making banana bread. One second. Wow. Perfection. It smells so good. If you're new, my name is Melissa. Welcome to my channel. I thought we'd do an apartment tour today. If you're a subscriber, you've definitely seen quite a bit of this apartment already just in the background of vlog clips, but I haven't done a proper tour of the place, so we're gonna do that today. A little bit of info on this place. I live in Vancouver, BC. This is a one bed, one bath. I think it's about 550, 560 square feet. Rent is 2,600 a month. That is not including parking and utilities. In my personal opinion, I think it's pretty expensive, but Vancouver is a very expensive city. I think we actually just got first place for being the most expensive city to live in in North America. But I do have an amazing view of the ocean. I really like the location. It's a newer building. The price is pretty standard compared to other units like this on the market, so. That is just a little bit of information on this place. Before we jump into the tour, I wanted to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is Majuri. Majuri is probably my favorite jewelry brand. These gold hoops that I wear every single day are from them. I get a lot of questions about these. These are the bold hoops. They're 14 karat gold. I shower in them, sleep in them. I never take them out. I've had these for probably like two years now and I very rarely change them out. They're an amazing price for solid gold, cute little hoops. So definitely recommend these. I also have a discount link. I'll have it down below. I think it gets you 10% off. They're also having a Black Friday sale, which is their biggest sale of the year. You're gonna get 20% off minimum spend of 150 USD. The sale is on from November 24th to 29th. I thought I'd show you the pieces that I picked out to maybe give you some inspo. Obviously I didn't pick out the bold hoops this time, but I always recommend them to everyone because I love them so much. I also just got my second holes done, so I picked out a few studs for options for the second hole. I can't swap these out for another two months though, but I was excited. Also definitely recommend knowing your ring size because I ordered the wrong ring size for one of these. First up, we have these really cute lightning bolt studs. I thought these would be cute for my second hole, but I'm also wanting to get just like a flat piercing right here. And I thought that could look cool. Another option I picked out are these little hoops. I'm gonna put the names on the screen because I can't fully remember, but that is what they look like. I thought this would look really cute as like a second hoop, or I could swap out the bold hoops and put these in the first hole, but I love mini gold hoops. I just think they are classic. They always look good. I also picked out some diamond studs that look like this. When I got my ears pierced, I had to buy jewelry from the place that I got them pierced. I don't love these ones because it's silver around the diamond and I usually wear gold. So these ones are, I don't know if you can see, it's gold holding in the diamonds. But I'm also wanting to get more piercings. I just wanna have like a lot of piercings on my ears so I can wear a lot of different earrings at the same time. So that is why I picked out a few different earring options. I love them all. I don't really wear rings very often, but I do wanna get a few that I can just keep on. This one's probably my favorite. I didn't know my proper ring size, so this is a little bit too big. I'm going to exchange it. I think I ordered an eight and a nine, and I think I'm like a six and a seven. So unfortunately it's too big, but I'm obsessed with this ring. I think it's such a good every day, and you can just like stack it, wear it with other ones. I also picked out this one here. It's just a solid gold band. And again, this one is way too big, but I feel like this band you could style with so many different rings. Last but not least, I got this gold chain. I'll actually throw this on now. So yeah, I picked out this one. I really like where it hangs. It's a nice length. It's not super dainty, but it's not a chunky chain either. And this would be really easy to layer with other necklaces. So yeah, those are the pieces that I picked out. I'll have links to all of them down below. If you're in need of some more jewelry, definitely a great time to pick some up. Thank you so much, Majuri, for sponsoring this video. Love you guys so much. And now let's jump into the tour. We're starting in the entryway. When you walk in, Tika's here to welcome you. I'm pretty lazy with rental apartments. I don't like to hang a lot of things on the walls. So I've actually had this mirror for the past like four places that I've lived in. I have never actually hung it up on a wall. It's always just leaning against something. This is from Ikea. The console is also from Ikea. I just have a few like fake plants on here. This is like pretty much 
the entryway. So I just have this situation here. This rug is also from Ikea. I keep a few of my shoes out just because I'm in and out of the apartment so much, especially with taking Tika out. So I just keep my most worn shoes out here. This is the coat closet. So I keep the rest of my shoes and jackets in there. The next door goes into the bathroom. It's a pretty standard bathroom. We've got the sink vanity area over here. I did add the over the toilet shelving. I got this from Wayfair. I'll try to link everything down below as long as it's still available online. So I love that, especially if you have like skincare or products that you grab all the time. It's nice to just have a place where it's out. Any other time I've lived in an apartment without that product is always just like left on the counter so it looks a little bit neater so yeah i really like that and then this bathroom has a bath shower combo i always get questions about my shower curtain i'm pretty sure i got this from target years ago also i should probably turn the light on so that is just a little overview of the bathroom Back in the little hallway, this is the laundry and this is storage. So I'm not gonna bother going into those, but very helpful rooms. And then we're moving into the main area. This is the kitchen. This is probably my favorite room in the apartment. It's a decently small kitchen, but I love the colors and I love that the fridge is flush with the cabinets. I just think it looks really nice. I use this section is like pantry that's the fridge the freezer this counter table i got from cb2 and i'm obsessed with it i feel like it suits this kitchen so well it is a marble top and then it's kind of like a grayish wood down here and i think it is a stunning piece i get a lot of use out of this i use it as my desk space my table extra counter space so i'm very happy with that purchase the chairs i have underneath i'm pretty sure i got these from wayfair i actually got them specifically for the townhouse that we lived in a while ago. The coloring matched really well with the table, so I just kept them. And then I have this little runner in the kitchen. This was also bought for a different kitchen, but I think it looks really nice in here. The rest of the kitchen is pretty self-explanatory. I just have my small appliances over here, my Berkey water filter, which I'm obsessed with. I just keep a few cookbooks there, some fake flowers, and that is the kitchen space. I don't love how this area looks, but I didn't have a ton of places to put my plants. So I have my fiddle, that is a satin pothos. And then I just have this little side table that I got from HomeSense with a lamp on it. That is Tika's little food area. And then flipping into the living room. I'll probably give you guys an overview of this in the evening too, because I really like how this looks at night. I get a ton of questions on this carpet. It is from Article. Pretty much everything in this room is from Article. Um, the poof matches the carpet. The couch is from Article. I'm pretty sure it's called the Anton couch. This is also from Article. It's just a nice round marble coffee table. These flowers are fake. I want to swap this out for a Christmassy decoration just for the month of December. To be honest, I'm kind of mad at myself for these candle purchases. I went to HomeSense and I got these. This smells really good, but I'm pretty sure these are all paraffin wax and I make candles and I love making eco-friendly candles that are non-toxic, but I'm pretty sure these are very toxic candles because when I have this burning, my air purifier picks up on the chemicals and it purifies it but i don't know what i was thinking for some reason i was just like oh yeah these are gonna be soy wax candles no pretty sure it's all paraffin wax i thought about returning them they smell so good though i need to start making my own candles again patio set also from article surprise surprise actually i'll give you a little peek this is a fake plant by the way that is just a frame that never got put up but this is what the patio set looks like I spent a ton of time out here in the summer, but it's pretty cold now, so I don't come out here too often. This plant kind of looks like it's dying, but anyways, that is the patio. And then for the other side of the living room, that's just a Dyson air purifier. I found this lamp at HomeSense, and I've had it for quite a few years now. Against this wall, I just have a console. If I was going to be living here for a while, I would mount the TV and then decorate the top of this sideboard but i just i don't feel like i'm gonna be here for very long so i i don't want to bother hanging the tv also i don't know how to do that myself i just felt like it made more sense to keep it on top of here so that is pretty much that wall and then moving into the last room which is my bedroom 
on this wall I have my big mirror from Ikea. Literally such a good deal for the size of mirror. I recommend that mirror to everyone. The bed set is from Rove and this has moved with me quite a few times. It's a very sturdy set. So I have the two side tables, the bed frame, and then I have a matching dresser, which I just have in my storage room right now because as you can see, there's not a lot of room in the bedroom. This set literally fits perfectly and there's no more space. The two lamps are from Ikea. The bedding is a mix of magic linen, Amazon, and home scents. This blanket here is magic linen. Duvet cover, pretty sure it's from Amazon. Pillows are home scents. On this side table, I just have my diffuser and a candle. I always sleep on this side, so I have my Kindle over here and just a couple crystals. Also, just a close-up of this lamp. I'm pretty sure you can get this lamp in a few different colors. It's really inexpensive, and I think they're cute, and I like this, like bronzy, what is this called? There's a different word for it, but anyways. And then we have my closet over here. So that is my bedroom, that is my apartment. I feel like this was a very quick tour, but it is quite a small apartment. I'm very happy with it, I like living here, but it is a rental and I would like to own what I live in next, so I'm not sure how long I'll be here for. I hope you guys like the tour. Again, I'll try to link as much as I can down below. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys liked it, make sure to give it a thumbs up. It really helps out me and my channel. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys probably, I think this is going up on Thursday. Am I gonna be back Monday? Oh, I'm starting Vlogmas. So you'll be getting daily vlogs in December. So I'll see you guys then.